Welcome to the Environments tutorial series. In this series, I will take you step by step through the process of creating production quality environments from planning to the final compositing. Everything ranging from terrain creation, object instancing and scattering, texture and shader creation, lighting, compositing and much more. In this first tutorial, volume 1, we will learn all you need to know about height fields within Houdini to create realistic terrains. Height fields are an essential tool in environment creation since they will be, in most cases, the base for creating your procedural terrain models. In chapter number one, we will understand how displacement works and what are the height fields within Houdini. In chapter number two, we will take a look at some of the basic height field nodes to start creating your terrains. Some of these nodes will be our terrain creation bread and butter. Chapter three is all about masking. Masks are extremely useful while creating your model, to be able to localize changes and isolate specific parts of your terrain. In chapter 4, we will take a look at terrain simulation tools, where we will learn two of the most important tools for creating natural looking terrains, the height field erode and the height field slump. Chapter 5 is an extremely fun and useful chapter where we will learn to download real-world data to generate photorealistic terrains using the Mapbox tool. In Chapter 6 we will learn how to export important data from our height field for rendering, texture creation and for exporting to third-party applications. In Chapter 7 we will start creating our final project based on a very cool dunes environment. Here we will create all our necessary models based on what we have learned of height field creation. We will also learn a few new utility nodes along the way. Chapter 8 focuses on the creation of textures and shaders for our dune terrain. We will also create a nice image based lighting and we will render our final frames for compositing. In chapter 9 we will composite our rendered images and we will learn the basics of merging images together and how to color correct them to create a more natural effect. We will also make our final image look more realistic by adding some subtle but essential effects that will mimic the look of a real camera. Finally, chapter 10 is a bonus chapter where I will show you how to create some dust simulations to make the environment feel more alive using the Pyro Solver. After watching this tutorial, you can expect to be able to create a huge variety of very realistic and natural looking terrains. You will become fully acquainted with the powerful height field tools used within Houdini that will let you use a procedural workflow for creating flexible and art directable production ready assets for a huge variety of uses, be it set extensions for television, matte painting for films, open worlds for video games, or even as a starting point for your digital illustrations. My name is David Adan. I am a lead FX TD in Cinesite Montreal and I will be your guide through the exciting path of environment creation. We have a lot of new things to learn, so let's get started.